This is Vida from When I Work. I'm going to review all the features of our employee roster so that managers can view a list of their staff that they can organize and utilize for scheduling. Let's get started. To get to the employee roster, select the gear icon and click Employees. In the main area of this roster, you'll see a list of your employees and some of the details you've added to their profiles, such as their names, phone numbers, assigned positions, assigned locations, and their last login to the When I Work app. You'll also see an Actions column towards the right of the page with a few different icons for each employee. If employees have emails or phone numbers listed that they have not registered for When I Work, you'll first see an Envelope icon in this Actions column. Select this envelope to invite that employee to register via email or text message. If the employee has registered already, you'll see a green dot instead right next to the employee's name. Next in the Actions column is the Clock icon, which will lead you to that employee's schedule. The calendar will lead you to that employee's availability. The trash can will allow you to remove that employee's profile from your workplace account. And the pencil will allow you to edit that employee's details. These employee details are the same ones entered when adding an employee, which you can do by clicking on the Add Employee button. To learn more about these employee details, see our videos on adding employees. If you have more than one location, you can use the Location filter. Each location you select will add the list of employees assigned to that location to your current view of the roster. Otherwise, the default view will show employees at all locations. Below the location filter is a quick menu that matches the options from the gear icon, which allows you to navigate to those other settings quickly. There are a few ways to sort your employee roster. When one location is selected, a handlebar will appear to the left of each employee, allowing you to drag and reorder employees in that location. This will also affect how employees are listed in the scheduler. You can click Reset Sorting to return to the default alphabetical roster. You can also choose to sort the employees alphabetically by first or last name using the arrow at the top of the employees column. To select multiple employees to apply changes to at a time, click the checkboxes to the left of the employees column or click the top left checkbox to select all employees on this page of the roster. You can assign multiple positions and locations to these employees by using the set buttons and clicking apply. You can also delete multiple selected employees at a time. You can start typing in the search bar to find employees in your roster. The Options button to the right gives you even more options, including exporting and importing employees, accessing employee registration and training resources, and inviting all unregistered employees to join your workplace. The Employee Roster is a powerful tool for adjusting employee settings and managing how employees will be scheduled. For additional resources, check out our online help center at help.wheniwork.com.